if I regret this video in three to five business years, it's fine because I don't regret it today. Hey guys, it's Jen, your best friend. Just kidding. I would be your best friend if we knew each other in real life though. Guarantee it. I was recording another video and I had to stop and record this one. This is my very last one of these, I promise. But I keep seeing videos popping up of Luke and Nicola, especially tarot readings. And it's interesting because there's a lot of tarot card readers who have never done celebrity readings before and are all of a sudden doing like Luke and Nicola stuff. And as you know, I have been on this train for a long time. I'm just getting my notes up. I'm sorry. I need them because I'm old and I need them to remember stuff. I just want to make a video because I'm a woman. <laughs> I have intuition. I have gut feelings as I'm sure all my other girlies out there do. I just wanted to talk about the thing that everyone's talking about with these two because it is so, 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 so apparent. Disclaimer, this video is my opinions only. This is not to be taken as fact. I'm not trying to catch a defamation or a libel suit. I majored in journalism. I know what those terms mean. If you don't look them up, you're welcome. I want to get this off my chest because I have been commenting a lot on these tarot card reading videos and stuff because it's so interesting that just so many of them, they're different people. They don't know each other. And yet the same conclusion is being drawn over and over and over again. There's a reason. And the fact that the world is still obsessed with Luke and Nick. It's for a reason. I don't ship celebrities. I don't give a crap. I don't give a crap about this stuff. I don't follow pop culture. I literally stream stuff. I don't follow, like I am the oldest young person you will meet. I am literally 80 inside. I don't know what's going on with anything, but this situation <laughs> is so different to me. There's a legit reason why people are just still you know, obsessed with them, shipping them, whatever. Luke and Nicola, the thing with them, and I'm well aware, I'm fully aware that Luke has a girlfriend. Um, <clears throat> I don't think he's in love. That's just my opinion as a female, just looking at the evidence and seeing things. And I, I'm sorry, like he might really like care for her. Okay, allegedly, but I don't think he's in love. Like, I really don't. I don't. It was too fast. There's so many things out there that just point to no. This video was tipped off also by yesterday. I don't know if anyone knows. I don't follow Luke Newton on Instagram. I follow Nicola Coughlin only because Nicola Coughlin is literally my wife in the future. I'm sorry, you Luke Elizabeth, but she's mine. She will be mine. I love her. And so I was tipped off by a friend of mine that said, Luke and Nick posted on their stories today and it was around the same time and they're never active really anymore. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I looked and yeah, like it was literally around the same time they both posted, but Luke posted Bridgerton related stuff. Nicola did not um, because the queen she is like, she doesn't need to rely on Bridgerton anymore. She's a superstar right now. She just signed with CAA. She is literally living right now. And I think, you know, I'm not going to go there, but anyway, so Luke posted Bridgerton bloopers and Nicola posted some personal stuff ish. Um, but it was around the same time and it's weird. I'm like, okay, I want, <laughs> oh no, I don't know. I'm wondering, and a lot of people are saying that maybe Luke posted the Bridgerton stuff because he misses her. I'm over here thinking like, I think it might've been his team doing some sort of damage control because after everything that happened at that premiere with the photos and everything, I think that he, A, lost a lot of followers and B, it just looked really bad on his end. Um, so I'm not sure, but that was interesting. So that's what tipped me off. So I looked at that and then I went on YouTube and I went to watch these tarot readers, tarot, how do you say it? Tarot card or tarot card? I don't freaking know. I'm not a magician. I was watching these and I'm like, dude, these people do not know each other at all. The readings that they're giving are so, 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 so consistent. They're so like the parallels are paralleling you guys. I cannot, they're all giving the same result, like about the situation and about everything. And I have always been very intuitive my whole life. People aren't stupid. We're not dumb. We know when stuff, people know when stuff is going on between people, like people can't hide it. You cannot act your way out 
of natural human body language. You just can't. It's just something that our bodies unconsciously or subconsciously do. And in a lot of the interactions with Nick and Luke, they have those little micro movements, those little psychological body movements that clearly indicate that there's something there. Like, come on, bro. I can't. I feel like on a personal level, yeah, there's something going on there. Even if, you know, it's subconscious and they don't really know it is, we're all human. And as a female, we feel that stuff. You guys, like you guys don't understand women's intuition is not just a saying it's real. And there's a reason why so many people around the world are feeling this way about them. I personally don't give a crap. I don't read celebrity rags. I don't do that. But like with this situation, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm stuck on it. I really don't. But I have a feeling that it's because it's very real and there is a connection. I mean, what that connection is, I don't know. But I think that it is, it goes beyond friendship just a little bit. Even if it's not full-fledged, like romantic, whatever, it goes beyond friendship. You can't, you don't talk to me. Don't talk to me about this because I see it. And so does everyone else in the world. I feel like it's not fair that people are saying she got friend zoned. I feel like it's it's like a mutual decision by two parties to be like, okay, we can't do this because we're still working on this show together and it would be weird. And one of them might not be in the right mindset for it. And the other one, but I know they feel, I know they feel, I know they feel, you can't argue that away. Look at everything about, look at everything. Like even when they're not performing for the camera, there's still, it, it, it just drives you crazy, dude. You just want to like shake people sometimes and be like, wake up, wake the fuck up. <laughs> we know, we know what you guys are doing. Okay. <laughs> A lot of people are being disgusting and saying, oh, she got friends on because she's not the 10, 10 hot girl. And I'm like, I'm sorry. Nicola Coughlin to me is a 10 out of 10. And a lot of that is who she is as a person. And also her face card is never going to decline. I love her. And I just love her whole spirit. I just like, you can't literally, she can have chemistry with a freaking brick wall, bro. Like <laughs> this girl can have chemistry with a rock. Okay. So don't even get me started on that. But I think it might just be mutual. I just think it might be and contractual maybe like, you know, I know there's other people on Bridgerton have gotten involved with each other. It's very like, hmm, iffy, but you know, that's coffee. But this tea is so hot. It gives me third degree burns. Like I can't, I watch these tarot card readers and I'm just like, that is so crazy that you guys are reading the exact same thing and you don't know each other. And I really don't think they watch each other's videos. I don't think they would take that much time and energy to be like, okay, I'm going to repeat what this person said. No, we're all obsessed with Luke and Nicola because there's something there. It's like when you see photos of them, it's just like light. And like, there's a reason why a lot of people don't allegedly, okay, I keep saying that. <laughs> a lot of fans don't like his current circle of friends and his girl because when you look at photos of them and when you see, it's just like a weird energy. And I feel that too. I feel like there's just a weird energy around it. It's like, it's not light and love. Like when Nicola's there, it's just really weird. Um, I'm not going to say it's dark, but it's weird. It's off. It's like, this isn't, this isn't it. You know, <laughs> this ain't it boy. So wake up. <laughs> <laughs> celebrities don't get shipped a lot when they do we end up seeing what happens eventually down the line okay like don't get me started on this honey um it might take a couple years it might take a decade we don't know look at Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds look at Tom Holland and Zendaya 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 sorry sorry girl I love you my bad the fans are gonna hate me for saying this but personally I feel like I want them to be together but I feel like they're not on the same level yet. I feel like Nicola is highly evolved, highly evolved creature. You beautiful freaking bitch. I love you. Um, she is so highly evolved. And I feel like Luke is not on her level yet. I feel like they can't be together right now because it just wouldn't work. And like, how bad would that be if these people got together, we were all rooting for, and then they did just destroyed their whole relationship because of it. Like they have to be 100% ready before they get together. If they ever do, if, you know what I mean? If this is just if, but that's for everybody. That's for all of us. We can't be with someone who's not on the same page as us. It won't work. You can make, you can try. Good luck. <laughs> you can try. But that's why so many relationships are just karmic and toxic because 
you need to find your equal spiritually, emotionally, physically, everything. And I feel like once a certain party gets there, okay, it's going to be that. How many months has it been since Bridgerton came out, you guys? When did it come out? May, the first part, and then June, the second part. And we're all still like, it has a chokehold. It has a chokehold on us. And the thing is, the couples from season one and two were never shipped. They were never shipped in real life. Why? Because there's something there between these two freaking people. <laughs> like it's legit. It's not fake. It's real. And it just, it boggles my mind. We're going to ride till we die and, or until, you know, the situation dies. Honestly though, so as much as I love it, I just want to see Nicola happy. She deserves so much. Like she deserves somebody who will treat her like the freaking queen she is. Okay. She deserves someone who will go to bat for her, dude. She deserves that. Like, come on. We all do. Everybody does. After seeing all these nasty articles that are written about her and stuff, I'm just like, I don't know why in 2024, like we're still even commenting on people's bodies. Shut the fuck up. Live your own life, mind your own business. Stop commenting on what people look like, period. That's just my two cents. The friends to lovers thing, it's crazy how they're kind of living out their characters in real life. Um, and the parallels are just insane to me. I'm just like, oh, it's like, we can all wish and hope. Okay, guys, I'm going to get back to actually recording my other video that I was recording, but I just had to, something was pulling at me. I had to do this because I cannot just sit back and not say anything about it. Like, I am so invested in this. It's literally a disease. It's a problem. I need therapy. I need to get the check and leave the restaurant because, yeah. But at the same time, being realistic about the situation, you know, we don't know their lives. They have free will. We don't know what they're really feeling. This is just us going based off of interviews, what other people have said, body language, everything. So personally, I think that there are feelings there and maybe it's stronger for one person than the other. Maybe not. Maybe it's both. Maybe one person is trying to distract himself from it. Maybe one person doesn't want to jump into it because of relationship history with another person or because of how they are. Who knows? All we know as human beings with intuition and energy and spirits, <laughs> we're not dumb. All right, guys, love you. See you in my next video.